Fingers. Um, I throw it's been a little bit now. Um, super kind of shit though, but um, you know, well. Uh, funny thing is, Callum went into school. <laughs> that's funny. We had two for periods, that's why I'm home in my uh, kind of attire. So, yeah. He didn't realise that we had a two for periods and he called me. I didn't fucking realise he called me. And I looked at my phone recently and I've just been sort of texting saying he's all by himself when he's walked to Tesco's by himself. All by himself. It's all good. So, you know, at least that weren't me. Because normally I have such bad luck that I would go in and not realise it. But I tried to do that, I almost did that two weeks ago. But then I realised that I had the two periods off. So I was like, oh, fuck, I'm all dressed up and I'll just uh, fucking just wait another three fucking hours. <laughs> so, yeah. But I remember this time, I was I couldn't be fucked, and I thought, oh, fuck, and I lay in my bed, and my mum said, uh, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I don't know, what time are you going? I was like, oh, fuck. And I ran, looked at my planner, and I was like, fuck yes. And I got the fucking time off. It's all good. But, retardedly enough, um, when we don't sign in, uh, we get two hours, or how, how many hours we missed in sixth form. Which is retarded, and I ain't gonna do that because obviously I ain't going back there. Because one, it's shit. Tickle teacher shit. And three, the whole fucking thing's in shambles. So yeah, I'm not gonna do those. Fuck em. Fuck em. Couldn't give a fuck. <sighs> so yeah. But I'm just watching a cheeky bit of Jezza. If you don't know what that means, it's fucking Jeremy Kyle, son. This fucking bloke saying about his, his birdie fucking shape. She's a town bicycle, you know, everyone's able to fucking ride. Uh, he's saying she's, he's had a baby, she's had a baby, saying this is, but it ain't, or might be ain't, I don't know, fuck me, you know, it's awesome. The bloke was hilarious, coming out, he's like fucking slagging her off and shit, and then Jessa came in and went, BAM, slagged him off, he's like, say he's got a small cock. BAM. It was good. <laughs> so, I'm gonna watch this, and I'll watch some YouTube videos, I guess, and I'll see you guys later. Guys, for the past 45 minutes, I've been doing uh, my rabbit out, finally, which is good for him, because he, um, literally fucking stunk, and it was just awful, just bleh, gooey and shit everywhere, Ugh. but, focus in, focus in, that'll do, actually no, I won't do, that gets better, but, biggest news, oh, my, Pokemon Hoenn Generation 3 remakes have been confirmed. Alpha and Omega, Ruby and Sapphire. I think it's Omega Sapphire and Alpha Ruby, or Evil. I don't know. But it's <laughs> <laughs> oh god, guys! Oh, I am just so amped. I'm just so pumped. I thought I saw it on Jay Witz's um, Twitter account, and I thought, "Hang on, this can't be real. Someone's fucking with us. Someone's having an elaborate prank." But no, it's all over Nintendo news. Everything. I'm just logging on to my laptop now. I'm just gonna whack on YouTube, and it's gonna be probably full of just fucking things saying, "Pokemon, Ruby's em Emerald, and no, no, Emerald fucking wrong one. Ruby and Sapphire confirmed. Ruby and Sapphire. Who is that? Oh, that's me." It's gonna be good though. It's gonna be fucking amazing. If they're using the same kind of um, game engine as they did for X and Y, oh, I can't wait to see Groudon. I'm definitely getting both though. I, I'm just thinking about it. I'm having fucking orgasmic thoughts thinking about this. I mean, fuck me. I mean, can you imagine that did. The original Pokemon Red and Blue, and Gold and Silver on the on the X and Y uh, game engine. I would still have a fucking, you know, because I know they they made um Fire Red and Leaf Green for the um Gen One remakes, and then they remade um Heart Gold Soul Silver for the Gold and Silver. But even so, if they made on if they made like every fucking game. 
like in 3D and shit. I would buy them. Even Pokemon fucking, I pro well, I, yeah, probably even fucking Black and White and Black and White 2. I'd probably buy again in, if they were on the same game engine as X and Y. Pearl, Platinum, oh, imagine Platinum. Oh, that distortion world, forget about it. So I'm just gonna fucking grab the laptop and I'm gonna get some live uh, reaction, I guess. Let's have a look. Oh, what the mic, man? Come do like my son. That's it. Die for me, bitch. Okay, I'm joking. <sighs> but, um, six form, just while I feel the time, um, six form is just fucking me over. Uh, business, I should be done the quickest, which is weird, because I used to say law will be done first, and then another thing, but law, we got fucking solicit not solicitors, fucking, what's the other one, social workers coming in, I don't know if solicitors and social workers are kind of intertwined, but you know, well, but um, yeah, we got fucking social workers coming in, I think you could talk about some bollocks, I'm thinking, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm not going to fucking listen to you, cunts, I you give me your fucking head, and then law, no, no, let's just talk about law, fucking trend tourism. Got no fucking unit to do. Redraft on this unit, and then Mrs. fucking. whatever her name is, yep. Ruby Sapphire. Alpha. Alpha Storm. Oh, well, that's. that's. Zephyr Sonic shit. Alpha, Sapphire, and Omega Ruby. Releasing this November. If this is fake. Then they really, they're really good at faking this shit. Nope, it's everywhere. Shofu, Zephyr Sonic, Poké Cinema, The One Integral, Game Explained, Proto Mario, Pokemon Channel. Yeah, it's true. It is literally come true for us guys. This day may have been quite shit and boring, but it just got fucking amazing. Hey guys, so I'm just. Hang on. I always do that, I always forget to turn off the fucking ringer, and the silence or whatever, you know, if you're not silent. The button underneath the bomb, you know. Um, but I just put on Super Vets, because I saw a promo for it on Channel 4, and it's like 10 minutes in, and it's on AdWords already, but. Is that so emotional already? <laughs> it's already been one bloke already fucking crying. And this is, a, this is a bad. I mean, not bad as in kind of bad, bad, but kind of bad as in he's sad and crying, like, ten minutes into the film, I guess. The documentary, whatever you want to call it. And it's just kind of... It is, it is sad. Because you see a bloke and his, his dog and he's just kind of... Loving it, it's just like, oh, he's fucking crying, I'm hugging him, kissing him, like, going, oh god, gotta get rid of his leg, you know, and, uh, obviously the bloke's quite emotional. See, that's the thing, we, as humans, we always kind of make a connection with our pets, and then that goes to a deep, deep emotional level. Especially if you're a kid and you've grown up with a dog or a, like, well, mostly dogs, really, to be honest, um, but if you've grown up with like, a dog or a cat, you know, and then they die when you get older, you know. You're gonna get a little bit upset. A little bit upset. There we go. I'll try it again. <laughs> but yeah. I mean. Because it's just. You, I think sometimes you get more attached to your, your animals, your pets, than rather than some of your friends. Because I reckon if. if God forbid. Or whatever. So one of my friends just passed away, I guess. I'll be sad, I'll be very, very sad. You know, but I'm not sure if I would kind of properly cry a lot, you know? Whereas with my pets, like my cat, uh, you know, Stitch, you've seen, you've seen him, guys, um, I think I, I think I might get a little bit emotional, a little bit teary, you know? A bit teary. Because. We form an emotional bond with these animals, and we we make them think we kind of lose ourselves thinking that 
you know, they kind of really kind of have, well, I don't know how I'm going with this, but, you know, you just kind of get really kind of deeply it attached to them, you know? And it's just so weird. I find it incredible. I mean, like, what, millions of years ago, didn't have shit. They humanized dogs, you know, wild wolves and shit. We domesticated them, bred all the wildness out of them, and then, bam, we got fucking... We got fucking dogs. Don't have we got cats though. Maybe big cats. Bred with a look. Got smaller, I guess. Natural selection got smaller for to suit their abilities. Uh, their um, sorry, their environment. And also, you got smaller and done the same for them. Thing for them. I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, people do get really emotional. We really get kind of get properly attached to animals. I remember when uh, my uncle's cat died. He had two minutes time. I thought. I remember uh, my last kind of thought, my last, my last memory of him was that um, he jumped up on the sofa, on the end sofa, and then um, and then went, "Ah, oh, you going going to all your favourite place before you go, mate?" And I was like, "Ah, oh, it's so sad," because he was, he literally was, he was going to all his favourite little spots and places before he goes, because he had a stomach tumour and they couldn't do anything for him, so oh, it's just. So sad, you know, it was awful. And then he passed away, and then a little while later they got his ashes, and you know, everything was quite sad. His brother Scratch, Scratch, he's still going, he's still living, he's like what 13, 14 now, so he's, he's still kicking. My cat's still kicking, he's like almost 9, 10 now, I can hear him down there, next to my little bed thing. Yeah. My rabbit's gonna pass on soon, he's almost 10 now. I can't say really say he's had a good life, but he's had a life, nonetheless. So, on that kind of dark note, I think I'll probably end it off here, guys. Please let me know if you've got any kind of pets that you kind of lost or feel deeply attached to, you know, back in the comment section. You know, just give it a like if you got a, if you had a uh, pet you used to care about and now it's gone or, you know, whatever. I will see you guys tomorrow for another shit day.